Hey YouTube, welcome back to Axies and Allies, the Garrison. This is Detroit coming to you from the bunker here in Rochelle Park, New Jersey. In today's episode, I will continue my series where I showcase the painted uh, game pieces of uh, customizers who are out there in the community. Today's uh, episode, I will showcase uh, Jason Friedrich's uh, painted collection that he only recently started painting earlier this year. Okay, needless to say, I am so impressed with Jason because, uh, again, Jason only recently started painting. And uh, 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 even though he started painting recently, he has definitely uh, come a long way. And uh, you will see that he has uh, been able to uh, accomplish much in the very, uh, in the very uh, short time uh, frame that he has had to actually paint his pieces. All right, guys, uh, hope you enjoy this episode. And by the way... Uh, if you're interested in showcasing your own uh, uh, painted pieces, okay, please uh, don't uh, hesitate to reach out to me and uh, let me know. Bottom of this video, you, I will uh, include my email address. If you guys uh, want to showcase your own collection, let me uh, know and I will go ahead and do so. Once again... Hey, I'm what's going on everybody? Uh, this is Jason. Uh, I'd like to say thank you to Detroit and Access and Allies Garrison for uh, wanting to showcase uh, some of my uh, pieces that I've um, completed. I still got a long ways to go. As anybody knows that starts painting pieces, it just becomes a long, long, long process. I've been working on these uh, since uh, January and I've gotten the Air Forces done and mostly all the navy's done but uh i uh became uh or i've been playing access and allies for about 20 years uh i play mostly the classic edition or the classic second edition um the 1980s version i've been playing that mostly all the time that i've been playing access and allies until recently i got the access and allies zombies for christmas and uh we've been playing that uh i kind of stopped playing for maybe four or five years there uh the my buddy that i usually play with um we kind of went our own ways and our, with our own lives and uh since I got zombies, we kind of uh, got back together and started so, playing again. Uh, once I started playing again, I uh, marked up the pieces on zombies with like red tips and silver tips and white tips and stuff to mark the different um, things, the little pieces, because they're all thrown in a, a big tray together and they were kind of hard to pick apart from each other and when I was doing that it kind of made me want to paint the pieces more realistic and uh, more better uh, than just the regular plastic versions so as I started to buy stuff to get a, a, built, a painted army I didn't want to do zombies again so I just bought some armies from uh, uh, the web pages, historical board gaming, and uh, combatminiatures.com, and uh, started building my own army uh, to for to make a custom game basically with a nice army, or I could use the army with classic or whatever. But I uh, seen Detroit and started uh, his videos and uh, started. I sent him a few pictures here and there of what I've been working on. He really liked it, so he asked me to um, send him uh, some pictures for a video for to be on his YouTube channel. And uh, the p pictures I'm going to send him are of the Air Force and Navies that I've completed.
weapons development pieces. Um, uh, so, like, if I ever get rockets again, I'll take the these the AA guns out and I'll put the rockets pieces in, and that way I will know I have rockets to use every round. Also, if you get industrial technology, here's the upgraded industrial um, complex compared to the regular regular ones that come in the game. How about that? How about we just go in close like that? All right, there's Great Britons. They're not done yet. Um, uh, I have Russia and Germany and Japan done, but they're put away in there. I'll show you guys that in a second. But uh, here is, um, so those are cruisers that I got. They'll be in the regular game. But here's the weapons uh, development, and these are uh, the battleships from the original Access and Allies game. I turned them into the Super Destroyers. If you roll and get Super Destroyers, and then I use modern subs for um, Super Subs. And those are, uh, those are Russia's right there. Uh, Germany is, I have all their pieces in there right now. Who's this? Uh, England, there's England's tanks are primed and painted and ready to be detailed. And there's, uh, same with, uh, uh, Great Britain's cruisers. That'll be in a regular game, but then here's Great Britain's special weapons if, if anybody gets it. And same with Japan. Japan is uh, primed and prime layer of paint put on. And then there's Japan's cruisers and Japan's special weapon uh, weapons development navy. Here's America and their tanks. They're just ready to ready to uh, be detailed. Here's Japanese. There's the re Japanese regular bombers I just got done working on, and I'm doing the rest of the Japanese, which one? The three engine ones are Japanese long range bombers. Uh, the two engine ones are Japanese uh, heavy bombers. And then here's Japanese heavy or long range fighters. I believe they are the Tony. So. That's what I've been working on that's been distracted me from uh, finishing up the tanks and infantry. I've become obsessed with special weapons. So the pictures that I'm going to send Detroit is of the air forces and navies of each country that I've done so far that are completed. Alright, take it easy. Thanks a lot for showing my uh, video.